Communication is a two-way road. What is said is as important as what is heard. How do I listen? You may have realized that there are people who are easy to understand, while there are others who are difficult to understand. Let's look at the four components that guarantee active listening. Acceptance of the person, honesty, empathy, and specificity. Acceptance of a person is the first and most important component. It's based on the fact that all of us have the right to express our opinions, independent from the content of the message. This type of acceptance requires two people, allowing communication establishment at the same level. The second component for acting listening is honesty. This involves sincerity in both your verbal and non-verbal answer. Honesty provokes honesty, so if you show an open and sincere attitude, your interlocutor will answer in the same way. On the contrary, if you show very little, have contradictions or doubts, you will transmit and provoke insecurity and insincerity to the other. The third component of active listening is empathy. It involves a connection on an emotional level, both for having lived a similar experience and simply for the desire to understand what the other person is feeling. This ability of putting ourselves in someone else's shoes is fundamental to make the other feel sure and understood and ready to continue. The last component of active listening is specificity, which consists of setting and fixing the other's problems with accuracy. When somebody exposes a problem or situation to one another, many times they explain it in a vague way and he becomes unable to explain it correctly. Through active listening, making communication effective for one party should also help the other one define and specify the subject of the problem. Sometimes, just by correctly identifying the cause, you have already found the way to the solution. Summing up, active listening is an ability that you need to develop as communication with others requires that you are able to efficiently listen. To make this happen, you should learn to manage its different parts. Personal acceptance, honesty, empathy and precision. Each time that you want to listen to somebody, remember those parts and strain to work with them conscientiously and you'll see that your communication and relationships with others has radically improved.